Hey, Ryan Muncy here coming to you from House of Strength. We're going to talk about low carb diets, especially for athletes today. So before we get into the athlete portion, we're going to review really quickly carbohydrates and the essential nutrients that our body needs to survive. We actually only need four things to survive. We need oxygen, we need water, we need essential fatty acids, and we need essential amino acids or proteins. Notice that nowhere in that list do you find carbohydrates. So the take home there is the average person does not need carbohydrates to survive or to perform optimally. Okay, that's the average person. Okay, remember that. Now, let's talk about a low carb diet compared to the standard American diet, which is also abbreviated SAD or SAD. No, there's not a coincidence there. Uh, that's actually done on purpose because the standard American diet is pretty sad. So again, low carb diets compared to the standard American diet are going to increase metabolic function. They're going to increase the brain's functioning through the aging process. So take note, anybody who has friends or family with Alzheimer's, coconut oil is a great supplement to stave off Alzheimer's, but also help with cognitive function for those suffering from Alzheimer's. All right. Uh, the low carb diet compared to SAD is also going to decrease blood pressure, decrease cholesterol, decrease triglycerides. Uh, we're going to increase fat loss, especially in the belly button waist area, which is another huge thing for Americans. Uh, one other benefit, low carb dieting is going to help regulate blood sugar and therefore insulin levels. And when those stay stable, that means our energy levels stay constant. We don't have these swings, mood swings, and energy swings up and down in the crashes throughout the day. And that helps us with weight management because as we know, insulin is the storage hormone, right? Now, all that said, let's talk about athletes. Here's the caveat to all of this that we've said so far. The higher our intensity in the weight room or on the basketball court, and the higher our frequency of that activity, the more we are going to have a demand or a need for carbohydrates. So if, you're, if the extent of your activity is running a 5K every once in a while, or going out for a hike, or a walk, or doing yoga, those are great activities. I do most of those myself. But those activities do not require carbohydrates. The things that, we're, that will require and increase your demand for carbohydrates are going to be high intensity ex exercise, activities like CrossFit style workouts, playing basketball, very, very high intense and power output movements and activities that are going to demand and deplete glycogen and use that power and that, that metabolic pathway that depletes us of carbohydrates and uses them. So the more you do that, the more you need carbohydrates to facilitate increased and optimal performance, but also increased and optimal recovery. So there you have it, low carb dieting for athletes decoded. If you have any questions, go to ryanmuncie.com to see the blog version of this and hit me up if you need some help implementing diets and coaching on your own. Talk to you soon.